Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to focus on the summer skincare routine. In the first part of the video, I'm going to introduce the three simple steps for the essential skincare. And secondly, I'm going to cover the tips for the normal skin type, the combination as well as the oily skin types. So there are slightly different tips for your skincare routine. Lastly, I'm going to include the high-level review on my recent skincare empties, and that's going to include more than 20 skincare products. So let's jump right in. For my summer skincare routine, I'm going to utilize three products. First, the Alban Infinite Milk, followed by the lotion, and my last step is going to use the Fanco sunscreen. So the first step I'm going to use is Alban Infinite Milk. And for this one, I'm going to pump one quarter size onto my palm and directly apply to my face. So this milk has a lot of oil-based ingredients, including the castor oil, seed oil, squealing oil, lecithin alcohol, and other skin emollient. So essentially, it's going to keep your skin moisturized and help facilitate the absorption of the ingredient of the next step, which is a concentrated lotion. So basically, you see here, after I apply this milk onto my skin, I simply massage that a little bit to help the absorption of the ingredient by following this contour massage step. Now the first step is completed. And this is just for the normal skin type and the combination type. And by the way, I have the combination skin type, but in the summer, I tend to sweat a lot and my skin is um, more inclined to the more oily skin type. So if you have the oily skin type, I will recommend application of this skincare product with the cotton pads. So basically the difference here is that you just pump once onto this, the cotton pad and then further apply that onto your skin. So what this cotton pad will do is uh, in three aspects. Number one is uh, it will absorb excessive oil and the water. So when you apply the skincare product, it will feel less weighty on your skin. And secondly, when you glide it through on your face, it will actually serve as a secondary cleaning to remove the excessive uh, dust and the grease. And then lastly, it will kind of massage onto your skin. And for the oily skin type, this is important because it will actually serve as the exfoliating agent. All right. And the second step on my skincare routine is this Alban Infinite uh, Lotion. It is transparent in outlook because it has a lot of the glycerin, glyco, and the flower extract in it, so it's more concentrated than the facial spray water. And for the normal skin type and the combination skin type, you can directly apply the quarter size of this uh, lotion on your palm and then warm it slightly on your palms before you apply it or pat it onto your face. So again, same massage step to make sure that it's fully absorbed and settled on your face, okay? So this is completed. And again, for the oily skin type, you will just uh, simply need this one cotton pad and use this um, quarter size of the lotion onto the cotton pad and gently glide it through your skin. So I will kind of like pat it like this. Now the second step is completed. Lastly, but not the least, is this application of the sunscreen. And in this case, I'm using this uh, Fanco sunscreen, which has a higher SPF factor, which is more than 50. 
I will recommend the high SPF factor, especially in the summer or when you play the outdoor activities, especially when you are going to the beach and you have the super ultraviolet, then this high SPF factor is a must have. So one unique aspect for the Fanco sunscreen is that it has a high percentage of the zinc oxide, which is a good ingredient for the physical-based sunscreen. Also, it's intended for the um, sensitive skin, the pregnancy women, and even kids. So I started to use this uh, product ever since I got pregnant, and I sometimes apply this to my uh, kids' face uh, for the good protection. It has the SPF 50 above, which is a good um, a factor or a high um, SPF index to protect your skin from the photo agent, especially in the summer times or when you go the outdoor activities and uh, uh, have fun in the beach. So this is a must have when you try to um, shield the ultra radiation of the UV rays. So uh, I will highly recommend this product. And what you're gonna do is directly apply it like the quarter size amount and simply pat it onto your skin to form the sufficient protective layer against the UV rays. And for this step, you don't have to use the, the cotton pad because the whole idea of this sunscreen is to have sufficient amount and to form a protective layer on your face. So typically for the physical based ingredients, it tends to be greasy and uh, um, hard to apply. But for Fanco, you see that it's actually very easy to apply it onto your skin. So it has some um, um, formula advantage to help on the viscosity so that it's uh, easier to fluid and to apply it onto your face. So I like this product. And I would definitely recommend that to all of my uh, audience. So now all of my summer skin routine is completed. Isn't that simple and essential? So you may notice that when I apply that uh, Fanco sunscreen, my um, face tends to be uh, fairer or whiter because of the color of that zinc oxide usually it tends to be milky and uh, white in the color. But once it's uh, dry on your face and settled, then you can see that the color becomes more normal or more natural looking. So uh, don't worry about the color, but focus on the ingredients and the protective effect on your skin. And this sunscreen is even feasible for the oily skin type because it's dry out very fast and uh, you wouldn't feel that the heavy weight of viscosity on your skin. But if you do feel the, there is an issue or concern, you can simply add another layer of the setting powder to help it settle down. Okay? And uh, moving on to the empties of my recent several months, and this includes approximately 20 products of the skincare and i haven't done this for a while so this is covering between march to june so let's see here firstly is uh, cleansers um, and i recommend this uh, eye makeup remover in my previous um, video so i'm not going to uh, spend too much time but uh, this is empty this is totally gone and the manufacturer discontinued this product so we are no longer having the uh, access to this anymore it's a too it's a it's too bad really because i really love this eye makeup remover it's kind of the lotion in the texture so it's really um good for uh you know getting rid of the uh the eye makeup including those uh, uh, waterproof uh product but uh, too bad i can't uh, have this anymore okay and um this uh, free plus uh, facial cleanser i covered that uh, uh, in my previous video as well so i'm not going to spend too much time and this is completely gone and uh, usually this type of uh, uh, cleanser is very mild and i restock it once i complete the um complete it um, so this one can uh, last for three to four months this is my all-time favorite facial cleanser and now it's uh, moving on to the lotion and emotion set and uh, this uh, decorti aq miliority is my all-time favorite as i uh, mentioned in my previous video as well so basically this is 
super rich in the anti-aging and the hydrating um, uh, ingredients. So these two are my absolute number one favorite skincare routine. And uh, this can last for two quarters, like half a year. So basically, uh, I completed two sets of this uh, lotion and emotion. Um, two sets every year. So this is a uh, gum and uh, usually because it's super rich in the texture and uh, you can feel the uh, the weight and the viscosity um, and uh, the um, the hydrating effect on your face. So I will usually recommend this set to the uh, normal skin type or the combination skin type in the winter and the springtime. But um, you know, for the oily skin type, this is not for you, okay? And um, I believe that, you know, maybe for the winter time, uh, you know, probably the oily skin type can still um, apply this uh, skincare, but definitely not in the summer. I will say in the summer times because of the, um, you know, you sweat a lot and the weather, humidity, everything combined. I only recommend this uh, product uh, for the normal skin type or even the dry skin type in the summertime. Otherwise, you know, it's only good for probably the uh, cold, like winter times. Okay. And another set of the Decorti AQ. Uh, skincare routine. This is also a set of uh, lotion plus emotion. And uh, this one is uh, the extra rich in the texture, but it's a different pipeline from the AQ Meliority. Okay, so this one is a, I guess, the um, less costly than the Meliority pipeline. Um, but this one is super useful to keep your skin hydrated and uh, this one i typically use it in the spring summer and fall so cover three seasons of the the skincare routine so this too is super helpful and useful so I complete this set in the uh, uh, early summer. So now these are gone and I replace this set with uh, the um, Albion um, lotion and milk set as I just mentioned in this uh, particular video. So um, this is, so this is gone. And uh, uh, moving on to my other skincare product. Um, so probably I'm going to first uh, cover um, yeah. So I'm going to maybe cover this uh, Clay Depot product first. Um, this is the travel size of the eye cream from Clay Depot. And uh, this one um, is, um, um, I use it a lot uh, because this usually kind of uh, comes as a free deluxe samples with every purchase. Um, and this is uh, easy to travel with and it's like the filler for the fine line. So it's uh, it's good for the, um, you know, the eye area and uh, I will recommend this product. It's uh, rich in the texture as well. Um, but for this Clay Depot um, facial cream, this is actually, I am not recommending this product. I think this one is a little bit uh, awful to use. I'll show you why. So supposedly when I started to use that, um, it's white and milky in the color, but right now you can see the bottom of the um, this jar. There are still like one quarter left over and it's uh, still not, uh, you know, it should be still in the shelf life. And then, you know, you see that the texture completely changed into a strange status. It becomes like the, the honey. Um, so it's totally changed from the original texture and color. And I feel this is very strange because I usually keep those uh, uh, skincare in the room temperature, ambient kind of uh, condition. So you shouldn't expire or, you know, kind of uh, degenerate, but this one doesn't feel good. You know, doesn't seem seems like okay. So um, somehow I feel something strange about the um, the formula itself. So um, I would actually recommend this product. It's a um, daytime cream with uh, SPF um, protective factor of uh, twenty. Yeah, 
so this is very strange and then um, this uh, um, Elizabeth Arden Advanced Ceramide Capsules. I completed the whole jar. This is super helpful in the winter times. It has uh, the good concentration of the anti-agent and has a good amount of the anti-agent um, ingredient. So it's uh, really helpful for the mature skin. And moving on to this Alginist collagen um, calming relief cream it uh, looks like a hand cream i mean in the shape of the tube but uh, really it's actually the uh, facial cream but um, uh, i'm not able to you know use this as much as the facial cream but usually i will um you know, use it as a, the hand cream instead because this texture is super heavy and viscous and sometimes I feel it's a, like a, um, it's like the vaseline on my on my skin so I, I just don't feel it's uh, suitable for my face but for my, um, you know, hands and arms um, I still um, use it and uh, to the last drop of this uh, cream so I don't want to waste anything, okay? But I don't recommend it as a facial cream unless your face is like the super dry condition, which needs to be, you know, kind of like a pasted uh, as a heavy paint or something. So otherwise, I wouldn't recommend it, okay? And um, uh, I forgot to mention this um, Haba. Um, powder wash. This is uh, the facial uh, cleanser. Uh, this one is a good product and um, because of this um, uh, high cleansing power um, and the cleansing efficiency, this is actually super um, useful for the summer times to remove all the dirt, makeup residual and uh, all those, uh, um, you know, grease out of your face. And uh, similarly, this um, squalene oil from Haba, I would highly recommend it. Um, I mentioned this product in my previous video as well. So basically, this is uh, um, the pure oil, like 100% uh, um, concentrated squalene oil, uh, which can serve as versatile um, oil. So basically, you can add it to your um, foundation for your makeup or you can add it to um, your scalp or you know towards the end of your hair um, so this can actually serve a lot of purpose um, so it's super useful i i even apply this to my kid's face um, so it's actually help uh, protect her skin and make it uh, um, make her skin like hydrated and supple throughout the day so this is good stuff okay And uh, this um, Meliority um, lotion is a travel size. I completed this because I travel a lot recently, so I tend to carry this uh, uh, travel size around and uh, utilize it, complete it at the end of the trip. So this is good stuff. And this Dior, Dior Prestige Cream. It's a um, travel size of the, uh, the facial cream. So this is uh, the higher end of the Dior skincare line. And um, I think overall, um, my experience with this uh, cream is okay. But uh, I will say that given the price of the full size, I think it's more than 300 US dollars. Uh, you can have um, choices of other, you know, um, more anti-aging kind of um, um, cream so i wouldn't uh, recommend buying this the cream from dior but uh, this one has a uh, kind of the the milky kind of in the in the color and it's um, the texture wise it's not as rich as other anti-aging cream so i feel that it's uh, probably the uh, ingredients wise it's not as uh, concentrated as other products or other product line so i wouldn't recommend this uh, to you if you are looking for the kind of the anti-aging kind of agent uh, anti-aging kind of product so
And for this uh, Kadali facial spray, uh, it actually contains uh, grape water. Basically, it's just uh, um, you know water without too much of the um, emollient or ingredients in it. So it's um, super lightweighted. I usually finish this uh, spray once, one bottle in a month. So um, it's a must have in the summertime, especially when you sit in the office all day. And uh, the spray of this grape water can really refresh you so um and it kind of feels good uh when you spray throughout your your face and neck area and it kind of like make your uh, face or make your skin feels you know the i would say the energy or the infiltration of the water so it feels good even though it doesn't have much of the you know active ingredients in it and um, maybe i'll just start with this uh, suku um, foundation first. Um, so this foundation, I started to use that three years ago, and right now it still has um, a quarter left over at the bottom of the jar. Um, the reason uh, I, I really love this uh, foundation, but the reason why it still has some left over is because I just have too many choices of the other um, foundation as you know so uh, that's where i feel probably after three years of opening it's no longer you know um good so that's why i i decided to declutter this one um and uh, these three uh rest of these three product it's not the um, uh, emptied per, per se but i just decided to declutter them because they are not the um, I guess very, um, uh, I guess it's just probably not the, they're not just for me. Um, so the last three products, um, I didn't uh, finish them. So it's not the literally empties per se, but uh, let's call it out as declutters here. Um, so the, this uh, Suku cleanser, it's more like to minim minimize the, the pores. So it's more like the uh, secondary cleanser after uh, your facial wash. But then for me, as I mentioned previously, my skin condition doesn't have that many of the pores or imperfections. So this to me is uh, useless. So that's where, you know, after two years of opening, I still only finish like one quarter of the total amount and I feel it's no longer good. Um, so that's where I decided to declutter it. Um, and for what it's worth, I didn't see much of the um, poor minimizing effect from this cleanser. So I don't recommend this product to you guys. This one, I believe is, um, um, you know, probably recommended by, by a lot of um, YouTubers already, but somehow this uh, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream doesn't uh, work out for me. So you see that um, for this cream, uh, usually it's kind of the ice cream in the texture and it's serving more of um, like the, the primer before you apply your um, foundation. But somehow my experience here is after I put it on my face, some, sometimes it uh, kind of feels very smooth, but not really hydrating to the deeper level of my skin. So after this, when I apply the foundation, it sometimes make it, uh, uh, the foundation like seems more cakey or porous on my skin, especially towards my nose area. And I tried it uh, um, differently with, you know, kind of um, probably more like the squealing oil or even other um, primer, but somehow no matter how hard I try, it just didn't, didn't work out for me. And uh, also because, you know, for me, my personally, um, I'm not a, a strong believer of a primer before the foundation. I just usually apply that foundation directly onto my face as long as a, that's a good one. Like the Suku foundation, you know, usually I, I think the primer is more a nice half, not, not a must have. So that's where it's uh, very difficult for me to complete using this um, um, facial cream. So it's just so hard for me. I have to declutter this because it's uh, really a long time already. And the uh, last product is this uh, Lamour Concentrate. 
Uh, this one is super expensive. I believe this whole 50 ml of the product cost more than 500 US dollars. And uh, somehow I still have um, one quarter left over. I cannot finish that because if somehow, uh, maybe it's just not for me. Um, I feel that, you know, the Lamer facial cream is already a, a good product to hydrate my skin. So without this um, addition of the concentrate, so this is a nice to have, if you will. So whenever it's not a must have, then, you know, I tend to kind of uh, leave a um, good chunk of the leftover uh, without uh, completely, you know, retrieving the value. That's too bad, but uh, let's face it, I think it's um, um, shelf life is two years after opening, so I tend to follow the rule and declutter this regardless. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy watching it and uh, find it useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.